In the previous video lecture, uh, we learned how we can compute statistic error performance for rigid digital control system. Okay, in digital control systems, uh, in terms of tracking error performance, the goal is trying to characterize E of C or E of K, okay, which is the uh, error signal, discretized error signal, divided by reference signal, discrete reference signal, and we write it in this form, 1 or 1 plus G O L Z. Okay, so. Uh, by manipulating transfer function, we uh, can write it in a standard form, and G all of Z mainly determines the statistic uh, performance or characteristics. Okay, we look at start, we look at this again, try to compute the errors uh, for different kind of inputs, such as unit step, unit tramp, and unit acceleration. Okay, now we will try to figure out G all of Z or feed forward transfer function of the transfer function for different kind of topologies, which may not be very intuitive or uh, very obvious when you first look at that structure. Okay, so we have a similar structure here. Okay, so let's try to figure out if we can compute that. Okay, so what is G all of C? So one way of computing that is simply a computing transfer function from R to E of C. Okay, so it will be in this form definitely because of this uh, difference operation. Okay, and uh, this part in the denominator in the one plus part is technically open transfer function. Okay, the other uh, way of solving is that, so this is f of s, which is the signal that goes into the feedback terminal. Okay, so we sample it to obtain f star of s or f of c, and we find the transfer function e star of s to the f star of s, convert it in the z domain, it will be the z domain open the transfer function. Okay, so let's analyze it from this perspective. Okay, so this is f of s. Okay, that's good. So we sample it to obtain f star of s. Okay, that's good. So uh, this e of s, okay, here we have s star of s times g of s is equal to y of s. Currently, we don't look at the y of s times h of s is equal to f star of s. Okay, so we can start everything. So E star of S times G H star of S is equal to F star of S. So G O L Z is equal to Z transform of G H technique of S, or let's say it's also equal to G H star of S, where S is going to, I think one or two, it part easy. Uh, one or two L and Z. That's it. Okay. So this means that for this system, in order to compute open transfer function, we should first multiply G and H together, then discretize it. Okay, so it's one of the important things we already covered when we are computing transfer functions. Okay, that's good. So let's look at another one. So it's a slightly different topology, and let's analyze it. This is F of S. So we sample it to obtain F star of S. Okay, f star of s is equal to, so e star of s times g of s, e star of s times g of s is y of s. So we sample y, so technically we take it star and then compute with h of s. Okay, so this is not star, this is f of s. So let's clean that. So f of s is equal to, so we have star here, no star here. E star of S, G star of S, H of S, okay. So idea is finding the transfer function from E star to F star. So to sample it, compute F star of S is equal to E star of S, G star of S, because stars are not affected, H star of S. Okay, so if we compute F of Z divided by E of Z, we will simply find that it is equal to G of Z times H of Z, okay? So G O L Z is equal to G of Z times H of Z, okay? So it implies that the transfer, the open transfer function for this system is multiplication of discretized transfer function of G and discretized transfer function of H. Okay, that's good. So let's uh, analyze it like different feedback structure, okay? So we have E, we have U, Y, and F, and let's try to figure out uh, how we can do that. Okay, so let's first write U star of S, or U of S, okay? So let's try to find U star of S, okay, before going to F. Let's try to figure out what happens in the inner loop, okay? So 
u star of s is equal to okay so e star of s okay that's good so e star of s times g1 of s minus u star of s times g2 of s star right that's it okay that's good so u star of s is equal to e star of s times g1 star of s minus u star of s times g2 star of s okay so what we can write from here is u star of s is equal to okay so that's it so for for that okay no no that's it okay so let's try it u star of s is equal to uh, no no yeah, not equal it's true but let's make it better okay one plus g2 star of s is equal to e star of s times g1 star of s okay so this is uh, technically u star of s and we have a star of s Good. so once we know u star of s okay so what about f of s f of s is equal to okay u star of s times g of s times h of s okay we already know that so this is our first trans or expression this is our second expression so this is equal to now let's say f star of s u star of s g to h star of s okay that's good i think everything's fine so what we need to do is we need to combine these two to uh, obtain the open the transfer function okay that's good so okay so instead of u of s because the only thing that we don't want to use we can write u star of s is equal to f star of s divided by g to h star of s okay let's clean uh, other stuff to have a clean space to compute the open the transfer function okay that's good so this is equal to f star of s uh, g to h star of s times one plus g to star of s is equal to e star of s times g1 star of s okay that's good so what we need to do is we can just uh, need to uh, rearrange this equation f star of s divided by a e star of s is equal to g1 star of s g2 h star of s divided by 1 plus g2 star of s okay that's good this is uh, transfer function from f to e let's check if it's correct okay it, it, e goes to here that's it i think everything should be fine okay so let's look at that okay yes i think it's true good okay so what we need to do is let's compute f of c e of c this is equal to g1 of c and it's equal to g22 h of c divided by 1 plus g2 of c okay so uh, i have a different derivation in the lecture notes which is also correct and where i try to find transfer function from r to e and try, then try to figure out uh, g all of c but here i tr directly try to compute open transfer function uh, by finding mapping from e star of s to sample f of s and discretize it which is the g all of c for this the block diagram structure okay that's good so these are like some nice examples how we can try to compute the steady state error which uh, depends on the open transfer function uh, of the given topology